Hello, hello. Welcome to another feature video with Legacy Woodworking Machinery. Today we're going to show why all CNC turning centers are not created equal by comparing Legacy's exclusive turning feature with the tapering adjustment to other four axis turning centers. In this video, we will cover the following. One, the different ways to approach a tapered spindle and their pros and cons. Two, the software required to program these tapered techniques. Three, how using cutter shapes on a tapered surface correctly can be the difference between minutes and hours of cutting time and sanding time. Four, how the taper adjustment works and what you can make with it. To get started, let's imagine you needed to incorporate a round tapered design into a spindle project. To clarify, a taper is a section of spindle that begins with a diameter and ends with a smaller diameter. To approach this on a four axis CNC, we have a few options. The first option is raster carving and is the most common method used by other four axis CNC systems. It uses a ball cutter to carve down the length of the spindle and indexes the A axis a small amount before carving back. It repeats this process around 360 degrees. This carving technique was programmed using Vectrix Aspire CAD CAM software. The 2D vector of the taper cross section was used to create a 3D model with a tube rail sweep tool. The model was carved using a 3D finishing toolpath. This method gets the job done, but is the slowest tapering option. Normally a lot of sanding is required because it can also leave behind a distinct seam or part line where the carving began and ended. You may also notice that the ball cutter leaves a radius in the corner. Many spindle designs require sharp details instead of radiuses. The only way for this carving method to reach into the corners is by using a very small tapered ball cutter. This greatly increases the cutting time because the cutter shape is so small. The second type of tapering method also uses a ball cutter. This technique looks similar to turning on a lathe and is known in the legacy community as vector turning. The cutter simply follows the taper surface while the material continually rotates. This method is significantly faster than the raster carving and doesn't leave behind a seam or part line to be sanded. The problem is no other 4-axis CAD CAM software has this toolpath. Without legacy CCAM Pro software, your only option is to hand program the G-code file. Legacy's conversational CAM Pro software is available for all legacy CNC customers. The third type of tapering method will use a magnet surfacing cutter that was developed by Legacy. Unlike all other surfacing cutters that have a one degree angle at the bottom of the tool, this surfacing cutter is completely flat and leaves a smoother finish. You can see on this turned round section, the surfacing cutter can take a much larger step over than the ball cutter and quickly removes material. Using the flat profile to our advantage, the cutter stays at the same height as it moves down the spindle, leaving behind a perfectly round surface. We can use this same technique on a tapered surface by manually adjusting Legacy's exclusive turning axis. This tilts the angle of the turning center and aligns the soon-to-be tapered surface to be parallel with the surfacing cutter. Once positioned at the correct tapered angle, the surfacing cutter can now turn it round without having to adjust the cutter up or down like the ball cutter methods. This turn round tapering method is the fastest cutting time and doesn't leave radius corners like the ball cutter. This turning technique is programmed using Legacy's CCAM software. Simply input where you want the taper to start and stop, and the diameters you want at both ends, and the software automatically calculates the taper adjustment in the program file. When running a tapered file on a Legacy CNC, the system will automatically pause and wait for the operator to adjust the turning center to the correct angle. 
the required adjustment is highlighted in the file. Once adjusted, the operator presses the play button to continue cutting. Now you might be asking yourself, why adjust the tilt angle of the turning center at all? Why not have the surfacing cutter plunge in the Z-axis as it travels down the material like the ball cutter does? Well, let's see what happens if we do that. This method is the same as the vector turning with a ball cutter shown earlier, but is replaced with a surfacing cutter instead. Because the tapered surface is no longer parallel with the surfacing cutter, we get a spindle that isn't quite right and a very rough finish that would require a lot of sanding. With a legacy CNC that has this exclusive tapering feature, you can enjoy woodworking without limitations. Check out Legacy's product line and see how to use Legacy CNC to conquer woodworking's most difficult and profitable disciplines by visiting our website at lwmcnc.com. If you have additional questions, call Legacy at 801-491-0010. Legacy also teaches online CNC workshops where you learn how to program and use a Legacy CNC to its maximum potential. You can join our CNC community by calling or signing up on our website. To watch more problem-solving videos that focus on turning, sheet processing, joinery, molding, 3D carving, wrapped carving, inlay, and more, click right over there. Press the like, subscribe, and bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are released. As always, thanks for watching. And remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.